Lesson 1, Weather Forecast, Partly Cloudy Anna, have you heard about tomorrow's weather? I heard it's supposed to be partly cloudy. Yes, I checked the forecast. It looks like we can expect a mix of sun and clouds tomorrow. That's good to know. We should plan our activities accordingly. Absolutely. Maybe we can go for a picnic in the park or have a barbecue in the backyard. Those sound like great ideas. We can enjoy the outdoors while still having some shade from the clouds. Exactly. Plus, the partly cloudy weather will make it more comfortable to be outside. I agree. And if it gets too hot, we can always find a nice spot under a tree and relax. That sounds perfect. Let's make the most of the partly cloudy day tomorrow. Lesson 2, Travel Tips and Favorite Destinations Anna, thank you for helping me with my travel plans last time. Do you have any other travel tips you can share? You're welcome, John. I'm glad I could assist you. As for travel tips, it's always a good idea to pack light and carry essential items. That's a great tip. It makes traveling much more convenient. What about favorite destinations? Do you have any recommendations? Absolutely. One of my favorite destinations is Paris. The city has so much to offer, from its beautiful architecture to its rich cultural heritage. Paris sounds amazing. I've always wanted to visit. Are there any specific places or attractions you would recommend seeing? Definitely visit the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre Museum, and take a stroll along the Seine River. The atmosphere is truly enchanting. I'll make sure to include those in my itinerary. Thank you for the suggestions, Anna. I'm looking forward to exploring Paris. You're welcome, John. I'm sure you'll have a fantastic time. Enjoy your trip. Lesson 3 Networking at the conference. Networking is crucial, especially at conferences. I'm looking forward to seeing you at the upcoming conference. Absolutely, John. Conferences provide a valuable opportunity to connect with professionals in our field and expand our network. That's right. It's a chance to meet like minded individuals, exchange ideas, and potentially form collaborations. Definitely. I believe that building a strong professional network can open doors to new opportunities and career growth. I couldn't agree more. It's essential to make a positive impression and approach networking with enthusiasm and genuine interest. Absolutely, John. Active listening and asking thoughtful questions can go a long way in establishing meaningful connections. And let's not forget the importance of follow-up. Sending a personalized email or connecting on professional platforms after the conference helps solidify those connections. You're absolutely right, John. Following up shows that we value the interaction and are interested in maintaining the connection beyond the conference. Indeed, Anna. Networking is an ongoing process, and conferences serve as catalysts for expanding our professional circle. I'm excited about the conference and the networking opportunities it will bring. See you there, John. Lesson 4. Effective Ways to Save Time in Daily Routine Activities Anna, I've been searching for ways to save time in our daily routine activities. Any ideas? Absolutely, John. One effective way is to prioritize tasks and focus on the most important ones first. That's a good point, Anna. By identifying our priorities, we can allocate our time more efficiently. Another strategy is to delegate tasks whenever possible. Sharing responsibilities can lighten the workload. I agree, Anna. Delegating tasks not only saves time but also promotes teamwork and collaboration. Additionally, 
utilizing technology and automation can be a game changer. It can streamline repetitive tasks. You're right, Anna. Automating certain processes can free up valuable time for more important activities. Lastly, establishing routines and sticking to them can help us become more organized and avoid time wasted on decision making. Absolutely, Anna. Having a structured routine reduces the need to constantly make choices and saves mental energy. So, John, let's implement these strategies and make the most of our time in our daily routines. Lesson 5 Nice Traveling Experience I recently had a wonderful traveling experience to Paris. The city is truly captivating. Oh, I've always wanted to visit Paris. What was the highlight of your trip? One of the highlights was visiting the Eiffel Tower and seeing the breathtaking panoramic view of the city from the top. That sounds amazing. Did you explore any other famous landmarks in Paris? Yes, I also visited the Louvre Museum and got to see the iconic Mona Lisa painting up close. Wow, that must have been a memorable moment. Did you try any local cuisine while you were there? Absolutely. I couldn't resist trying some delicious French pastries, like croissants and macarons. Mmm, I love French pastries. Did you have any interesting encounters with the locals during your trip? Yes, I met some friendly Parisians who were kind enough to recommend hidden gems and local hangout spots. It's always great to connect with locals while traveling. Did you have enough time to explore the city thoroughly? Lesson 6, Daily Conversations, Asking About Hotel Shuttle Hello, Anna. Do you know if this hotel has a shuttle service? Good question, John. I'm not sure, but I can check with the front desk for you. That would be great, Anna. I appreciate your help. I just spoke with the front desk, John. Yes, this hotel does provide a shuttle service for its guests. That's fantastic news, Anna. It'll make getting around much more convenient. Absolutely, John. Having a shuttle service can save you time and make your stay more enjoyable. I'm glad to hear that. It's always nice to have transportation options when traveling. Definitely, John. Now you can explore the city without worrying about transportation logistics. Thank you for checking, Anna. I'm looking forward to a comfortable and hassle-free stay. You're welcome, John. I'm sure you'll have a great time at the hotel. Enjoy your stay. Lesson 7, Incorporating Exercise into Daily Life Let's exercise more every day for better health. I agree, exercise improves physical and mental well-being. We can start with morning walks or jogs together. Great idea, we'll explore different routes. Let's also include strength training exercises. Yes, to build muscle and increase metabolism. Gradual progress and variety will keep us motivated. We can try yoga, cycling, or dance classes too. Hydration and balanced diet are important too. Right, they fuel our bodies for exercise. Lesson 8 Prioritizing family safety and peace of mind. I couldn't agree more, Anna. It's crucial to prioritize the safety and peace of mind of our family. Absolutely, John. Ensuring the well being of our loved ones should always be a top priority. With the uncertainties in the world, we need to take proactive measures to keep our family members safe. That's right, John. Implementing security measures at home and being vigilant about potential risks can provide peace of mind. We should also educate our family members about safety protocols and emergency procedures. 
I completely agree, John. Empowering them with knowledge and teaching them how to respond in various situations is essential. Additionally, establishing open communication channels within the family can help address any concerns or issues promptly. Communication is key, John. Encouraging open dialogue allows us to understand each other's needs and ensures a supportive environment. Lastly, regular quality time spent together as a family can strengthen our bond and create a sense of security. Absolutely, John. Nurturing those family connections and creating lasting memories is invaluable for everyone's well-being. Lesson 9. Embracing Positive Change I've been thinking about making positive changes in our daily lives. That sounds interesting. What changes are you considering? I want to wake up earlier and start the day with a productive routine. That's a great idea. It can set a positive tone for the entire day. I also want to incorporate more healthy habits into our lifestyle. Like what? Eating more fruits and vegetables, and reducing our sugar intake. I agree. It will improve our overall health and well-being. Lastly, I think we should declutter our living space and create a more organized environment. I've been meaning to do that too. It will create a sense of calm and clarity. Lesson 10. Exploring must-visit attractions. Anna, I've been researching some must-visit attractions that I don't want to miss. It's important to make the most of our time and not miss out on these experiences. That's a great idea, John. Time is precious, and exploring important attractions can create lasting memories. What are some places you have in mind? One attraction I'm really excited about is the Great Wall of China. Its historical significance and breathtaking views make it a must-see destination. I completely agree, John. The Great Wall is an architectural marvel and a symbol of China's rich history. It's definitely on my list too. Another place I've always wanted to visit is the Taj Mahal in India. Its stunning beauty and romantic history make it an iconic landmark. Oh, the Taj Mahal is truly a masterpiece, John. The incredible architecture and the love story behind its creation make it a must-visit destination for many. And closer to home, I've been dreaming of exploring the ancient ruins of Machu Picchu in Peru. Its mysterious allure and breathtaking setting in the Andes are captivating. Machu Picchu is a fascinating archaeological site, John. The ruins offer a glimpse into the Inca civilization and the stunning mountain backdrop adds to its allure. Lastly, I've heard incredible things about the Serengeti National Park in Tanzania. The opportunity to witness the Great Migration and experience the African wildlife is something I don't want to miss. The Serengeti is indeed a remarkable destination, John. The vast plains teeming with wildlife and the awe-inspiring safari experiences make it a top choice for nature enthusiasts. Lesson 11. Finding Motivation to Exercise Lately, I've been struggling to find the motivation to exercise. I totally understand it can be tough, but I know it's important for my health. I can relate, John. Finding the motivation to exercise can be challenging, especially when life gets busy. But let's explore some strategies to stay motivated. You're right, Anna. One thing that helps me is setting specific goals. Whether it's aiming to run a certain distance or lift a certain weight, having a target keeps me focused. That's a great approach, John. Setting realistic and achievable goals helps maintain motivation. It's also helpful to track progress and celebrate small victories along the way. Another strategy I found effective is finding an exercise routine that I enjoy. It could be dancing, swimming, or even hiking. When I look forward to the activity, it's easier to stay motivated. Absolutely, John. 
Engaging in activities you genuinely enjoy makes exercising more enjoyable and sustainable. It could be joining a sports team or trying out different fitness classes. Lastly, I find that having an exercise buddy or accountability partner can make a big difference. When someone else is counting on me, it adds an extra layer of motivation. I completely agree, John. Exercising with a friend or joining a fitness community provides support and encouragement. It's easier to stay motivated when you have someone cheering you on. These strategies sound promising, Anna. I'll start implementing them and see how they work for me. It's all about finding what keeps us motivated and making exercise a regular part of our lives. That's the spirit, John. Remember, motivation may fluctuate, but establishing a routine and finding activities you enjoy will help you stay on track. Let's support each other in our fitness journeys. Lesson 12, The Melt in the Refrigerated Section Have you noticed the new packaging for the milk products? They're now in the refrigerated section. Yes, I saw that too. It's a smart move to ensure the product stays fresh and maintains its quality. Absolutely. Placing it in the refrigerated section helps to preserve the taste and texture of the melt. It also makes it more convenient for customers to find and grab it along with other chilled items they may need. That's true. It's all about meeting customer expectations and making their shopping experience easier. Plus, being in the refrigerated section gives it a premium feel and aligns with the perception of freshness. Definitely. The new packaging and positioning can attract more customers and increase sales for the melt. And it's a great strategy for the brand to differentiate itself from competitors and stand out on the shelves. I agree. It's important for brands to adapt and evolve to meet changing consumer preferences. Absolutely, John. I'm looking forward to trying some of the new varieties of the melt in the refrigerated section. Lesson 13, trying authentic attire and visiting a traditional place. Have you ever tried wearing authentic traditional attire? I think it would be a fascinating experience. Oh, definitely. I've always wanted to dress up in traditional clothing and immerse myself in another culture. It's a great way to appreciate the history and traditions of a place. We should plan a visit to a traditional location soon. That sounds wonderful. We could explore a local market or a cultural festival to get a taste of the authentic atmosphere. Absolutely. It would be an opportunity to interact with locals and learn more about their customs and way of life. And let's not forget about the delicious traditional cuisine we could try while we're there. You're right. Sampling local dishes is an integral part of experiencing a culture. I'm getting excited just thinking about it. Me too. It's amazing how much we can learn and appreciate by immersing ourselves in different traditions. So, let's make a plan to visit a traditional place and try on some authentic attire. It will be an adventure to remember. I couldn't agree more, John. Let's start researching and find the perfect destination to explore and embrace the culture. Lesson 14, Booking a Taxi I've been thinking about our daily commute, and I believe it would be more convenient if we could book a taxi in advance. That's a great idea, John. It would save us the hassle of waiting for taxis on the spot. Exactly. Plus, we could plan our schedule better if we know we have a taxi booked. I completely agree. It would give us peace of mind knowing that transportation is taken care of. I did some research, and there are several taxi services that offer advanced booking options through their websites or mobile apps. That's fantastic. We should look into those services and see which one suits our needs the best. Absolutely. 
We can compare factors like pricing, availability, and user reviews to make an informed decision. And don't forget to check if they have any special offers or discounts for frequent users. Good point. It's always great to save some money whenever we can. Once we find a reliable taxi service, we can start booking our rides in advance and enjoy a smoother daily commute. Lesson 15, Planning for the Long Weekend Hey Anna, have you given any thought to our upcoming long weekend? Yes, I have. I was thinking of going camping. How about you? That sounds like a great idea. I was actually considering a road trip to the mountains. That sounds adventurous. Which mountain range are you thinking of? I was thinking of exploring the nearby Sierra Nevada mountains. They have some beautiful hiking trails. That sounds amazing. We can enjoy nature and have a peaceful time away from the city. Absolutely. It will be a refreshing break from our daily routine. We can also do some stargazing at night. That's a fantastic idea. I love watching the stars. We should pack some snacks and a telescope. Definitely. I'll make sure to bring some camping gear and a first aid kit as well. Good idea. Safety should always be a priority. Let's also check the weather forecast before we finalize our plans. Lesson 16, Expressing Myself and Relaxing Anna, I've been feeling a bit stressed lately. Do you have any suggestions on how I can express myself and relax? Absolutely, John. One way to express yourself is through creative outlets like writing, painting, or even playing a musical instrument. That's a great idea. I used to play the guitar, but I haven't picked it up in a while. I think it's time to start playing again. Music is a fantastic way to relax and unwind. It allows you to channel your emotions and find inner peace. You're right. I remember how calming it was to strum the strings and lose myself in the melodies. I'll definitely make time for it. Another way to relax is through mindfulness and meditation. Taking a few moments each day to focus on your breath and be present can work wonders. I've heard about the benefits of meditation, but I've never really tried it. How do you suggest I start? You can begin with short guided meditation sessions using apps or online resources. Start with just a few minutes a day and gradually increase the duration. I'll give it a try. It sounds like a simple yet effective way to quiet my mind and find some tranquility. Lastly, don't forget the importance of self-care. Engage in activities that bring you joy and make you feel rejuvenated, whether it's going for a walk in nature or taking a warm bath. Lesson 17, Exploring Eco-Friendly Cleaning Tips I've been trying to make my cleaning routine more eco-friendly. Do you have any tips, Anna? Absolutely, John. One simple tip is to make your own cleaning solutions using natural ingredients like vinegar, baking soda, and lemon juice. That sounds interesting. How do I make these solutions? For an all-purpose cleaner, mix equal parts vinegar and water in a spray bottle. You can add a few drops of essential oil for a pleasant scent, if you like. I'll give it a try. It's great to know that I can clean effectively without using harsh chemicals. Another tip is to use microfiber cloths instead of disposable paper towels. They are reusable, more absorbent, and help reduce waste. That's a great suggestion. I'll invest in some microfiber cloths to minimize my paper towel usage. Lastly, consider switching to eco-friendly cleaning tools like bamboo brushes and mop handles made from recycled materials. They are durable and sustainable. I hadn't thought about that. 
It makes sense to choose cleaning tools that are better for the environment. Absolutely, John. Making these small changes in your cleaning routine can have a positive impact on the planet. Give them a try and see the difference. Lesson 18, Efficient Paper Organization with Folders Anna, I've been struggling with keeping my papers organized. Do you have any tips on using folders effectively? Absolutely, John. Folders can be a lifesaver when it comes to organizing papers. Here are a few suggestions to help you out. That would be great. I'm tired of searching through stacks of papers whenever I need something. Firstly, categorize your papers into different folders based on their types or topics. For example, you can have separate folders for bills, receipts, important documents, and so on. That makes sense. It will be much easier to locate specific papers when they are grouped together. Secondly, label your folders clearly. Use descriptive titles or categories on the front of each folder so you can quickly identify what's inside without opening them. Good idea. Clear labels will save me a lot of time and effort in the long run. Lastly, establish a filing system within each folder. You can use color-coded tabs or dividers to further organize the contents. For instance, use different tabs for different months or subcategories within a folder. I never thought about using color coding. It sounds like a smart way to visually distinguish between different sections. Indeed, John. By implementing these practices, you'll have a streamlined system for organizing your papers with folders. It will save you time and reduce the frustration of searching for important documents. Lesson 19, The Significance of Greetings Greetings, Anna. Did you know that greetings play a significant role in our daily interactions? Indeed, John. Greetings serve as a social lubricant, expressing politeness and establishing rapport. Absolutely, Anna. They also set the tone for the conversation and show respect for the person we're addressing. That's right, John. Greetings create a positive atmosphere and help build relationships. Moreover, they reflect cultural norms and traditions, showcasing our awareness and appreciation for diversity. Precisely, John. By using appropriate greetings, we show sensitivity towards different customs and foster inclusivity. And let's not forget the impact of nonverbal greetings, such as a warm smile or a friendly handshake. You're absolutely right, John. Nonverbal greetings can convey warmth, openness, and sincerity. So, Anna, let's always remember the significance of greetings and use them to foster positive connections. Indeed, John. Let's make it a habit to greet others with respect and kindness, making their day brighter. Lesson 20, Balancing Work and Personal Life Anna, lately I've been finding it challenging to maintain a good work-life balance. How about you? Do you face similar struggles? Absolutely, John. Balancing work and personal life can be quite demanding. It's essential to find a healthy equilibrium between the two. Same here. I often find myself bringing work home and struggling to disconnect from professional responsibilities. It's important to set boundaries and establish designated time for personal activities and relaxation. We need to prioritize self-care. That's true. We should allocate time for hobbies, exercise, and spending quality time with loved ones. It helps rejuvenate and recharge. By the way, have you thought about delegating some tasks at work or seeking support when needed? It can alleviate the workload. You're right. Sometimes, we hesitate to ask for help, but it's essential to recognize our limits and reach out to colleagues or supervisors. Absolutely. Collaboration and effective communication at work can contribute to a more balanced and manageable workload. 
And let's not forget the importance of disconnecting from work during our time off. It allows us to recharge and return with fresh perspectives. Agreed. Engaging in activities that bring us joy and fulfillment outside of work is crucial for our overall well being and happiness. Lesson 21 Maintaining Contact with New Connections. Speaking of follow ups, what's the best way to maintain contact with new connections? A great way is to send a personalized email within a day or two after meeting them. It shows your interest and keeps the conversation going. That's a good point. I also find it helpful to connect with them on professional networking platforms like LinkedIn. It allows us to stay connected and exchange updates. Absolutely. Another effective approach is to schedule occasional coffee or lunch meetings to catch up and strengthen the relationship. I agree. Face-to-face -face interactions can be valuable in building a deeper connection. It's also an opportunity to explore potential collaborations or opportunities. Additionally, engaging with their social media posts and leaving thoughtful comments can help maintain a presence and show your support. That's a great idea. It demonstrates your active interest in their work and keeps the lines of communication open. Lastly, don't forget the power of handwritten notes or small gestures like sending articles or resources related to their interests. It adds a personal touch. Excellent suggestion. Taking the time to show genuine care and thoughtfulness goes a long way in nurturing new connections. Lesson 22, Adding Conditions for Termination I've been thinking about our agreement, and I propose adding conditions for both parties to terminate if necessary. What are your thoughts? That's an interesting suggestion, John. It's important to have clear guidelines in place. We could specify specific circumstances or time frames for termination. Exactly. By defining the conditions, we ensure that both parties have a mutual understanding of when and how the agreement can be ended. Agreed. It would also be beneficial to include a notice period to allow for a smooth transition or alternative arrangements to be made. I think that's a wise addition. A notice period provides a buffer for both parties to prepare and make necessary adjustments before the termination takes effect. Additionally, we should outline any financial or contractual obligations that need to be fulfilled upon termination to avoid any potential disputes. Absolutely. Including such provisions will help protect both parties' interests and ensure a fair resolution in case of termination. Lastly, it's crucial to have a termination clause that clearly states the procedure to be followed and any consequences or liabilities associated with termination. I completely agree. A well-defined termination clause will provide clarity and minimize any confusion or disagreements in the future. Lesson 23, Future Career Plans Hey there, have you thought about your future career plans? Yes, I have. I've been considering different options and trying to determine what path I want to pursue. That's great to hear. It's important to have a clear vision for your career and set goals to work towards. Absolutely. I've been researching various industries and exploring different job roles to get a better understanding of what aligns with my interests and skills. That's a smart approach. By exploring different options, you can find a career path that not only matches your passion but also utilizes your strengths. Exactly. I believe it's crucial to find a balance between personal fulfillment and professional growth in a career. I couldn't agree more. It's important to find a career that not only brings you joy but also allows you to continually learn and develop. Definitely. I'm also considering further education or professional certifications to enhance my qualifications and open up more opportunities. That's a great idea. Continuous learning and upskilling are essential in today's competitive job market. Absolutely. 
By staying adaptable and embracing new opportunities, I hope to build a successful and fulfilling career in the future. Lesson 24. Product Quality and Additional Features Certainly, our product offers superior quality and additional features. Absolutely. We've put a lot of effort into ensuring that our product stands out in terms of quality compared to competitors. Yes, we have a rigorous quality control process in place to maintain high standards and meet customer expectations. That's true. We also conducted thorough market research to identify the additional features that would provide value to our customers. Exactly. By incorporating those features, we're able to offer a more comprehensive and satisfying experience to our users. And not only that, but we continuously strive to innovate and enhance our product by listening to customer feedback and staying ahead of market trends. Absolutely. It's important to stay proactive and adapt to the changing needs and preferences of our target audience. Agreed. By focusing on both quality and innovation, we can build a strong reputation and maintain a competitive edge in the market. Lesson 25. Healthy Drink Choices How about drinks? Any suggestions? Water is always the best option for staying hydrated and maintaining good health. That's true. It's important to drink an adequate amount of water throughout the day. Absolutely. Water helps with digestion, regulates body temperature, and supports overall well-being. I agree. It's also a great choice because it has no added sugars or calories. Definitely. It's a refreshing and natural way to quench your thirst without any negative impacts on your health. And speaking of health, it's a good idea to limit sugary drinks like soda or fruit juices. Absolutely. Sugary drinks can contribute to weight gain and increase the risk of various health issues. Right. Opting for water or other healthier alternatives like herbal tea or infused water can be a better choice. I couldn't agree more. Making conscious choices about our drink options can have a positive impact on our overall well-being. Lesson 26. Comfortable Sneakers Have you considered trying sneakers? They're usually very comfortable. Actually, I haven't thought about it. Are sneakers really that comfortable? Yes, they are. Sneakers are designed with cushioning and support, making them great for everyday wear. That sounds appealing. I've been looking for comfortable footwear lately. Sneakers are versatile too. You can wear them for various activities like walking, running, or even casual outings. That's convenient. I need something that can keep up with my active lifestyle. Sneakers offer excellent arch support and shock absorption, which can help reduce discomfort and fatigue. That's exactly what I need. I'll definitely give sneakers a try. I'm sure you'll love them. Just make sure to choose a pair that fits well and provides proper support. Thanks for the suggestion. I'll start exploring different sneaker options and find the perfect pair for me. Lesson 27, Requesting the Check Excuse me, can we have the check, please? Sure, I'll bring it right away. Thank you. Here's the check. Is there anything else I can assist you with? No, everything was great. We're ready to settle the bill. Very well. Please let me know if you would like to pay in cash or by card. I'll pay by card, please. Noted. I'll bring the card machine for you to process the payment. Perfect, thank you. You're welcome. Just a moment, I'll be back with the card machine shortly. Lesson 28. Customizing Colors and Scents 
I've been experimenting with oils and dyes for colors lately. Did you know you can customize the scent and colors of certain products? Yes, it's fascinating. By adding different oils and dyes, you can create unique combinations that suit your preferences. Absolutely. I find it enjoyable to create personalized scents and colors for candles and soaps. It adds a special touch. That sounds wonderful. What are some scents and colors you've experimented with? I've tried combining lavender and vanilla for a soothing scent, and I've played around with vibrant blues and greens for a refreshing look. Those sound delightful. I'm curious, can you also adjust the intensity of the scent and the depth of the colors? Yes, you can control the concentration of the oils to achieve different levels of fragrance. As for colors, you can experiment with adding more or less dye to achieve the desired shade. That's fantastic. It allows for endless possibilities and personalization. I'd love to try customizing my own scents and colors someday. I highly recommend it. It's a creative and rewarding process. Let me know if you need any tips or guidance when you decide to give it a try. Lesson 29, Completing Applications in Advance When it comes to filling out applications, it's essential to do it in advance. Have you already filled out the application for that job you're interested in? Yes, I made sure to complete it ahead of time. It's important to give yourself enough time to review and double-check all the information. Absolutely, rushing through an application can lead to mistakes or missing important details. Taking the time to complete it properly shows your attention to detail. That's true. I also find that submitting applications early demonstrates your eagerness and proactive approach to the opportunity. Exactly. It's always better to be ahead of the deadline and avoid any last-minute stress. Plus, it gives you a chance to make any necessary revisions if needed. I couldn't agree more. It's also a good idea to keep a copy of the completed application for your reference in case there are any follow-up questions. That's a great point. Having a record of what you submitted can be helpful during interviews or when discussing your application with potential employers. Definitely. It's all about being prepared and organized. By completing applications in advance, you increase your chances of success and make a positive impression. Absolutely. So, for any future applications, remember to give yourself plenty of time and attention to detail. It will pay off in the long run. Lesson 30. Planning a meeting at the park. You're right. Let's meet at the park at noon then. It's a beautiful day, and it'll be nice to spend some time outdoors. That sounds like a great plan. The park is always a refreshing place to meet and catch up. I agree. Plus, it's conveniently located, and we can easily find a spot to sit and chat. Absolutely. I'll bring a blanket so we can relax and enjoy the surroundings. That's a good idea. I'll grab some snacks and drinks to share. It'll make our meeting even more enjoyable. Perfect. I think it's important to take breaks from our busy schedules and have moments of relaxation and connection. I couldn't agree more. It's essential to prioritize our well-being and spend quality time with friends. Definitely. And meeting at the park allows us to combine both nature and socializing, which is a win-win. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to our meeting. See you at noon.